Hello, welcome to TechSharmat. In this session, we will discuss how to create progress bar and display file. So here I have created one program and display file. So firstly, I will show you the output and then we will discuss how to design that display file and how to write a logic to show the loading effect or progress bar in our PJL program. So let's see the output first. So I'm calling this program. So here on the top, I'm using one verbiage just for a normal text, uh, just a normal text. And the, here I have given one heading progress bar in display file because this is a demo program. So we, I have mentioned it here and this is the place where my loading effect will be shown or we will see the output here, like how the progress bar is, is working. So to uh, load the progress bar or to show the output what we will do we will press enter so once i hit enter it will start progressing so i'm hitting enter so here you can see that these this bar is uh, getting filled with this pipe symbol and also the percentage is now 100 so as uh, with some delay it is pop, uh, progressing so if i hit enter again it will reload so let's see so now 28 then 52 and then 75 97 and 100 so in this way as per our requirement we can uh, control this speed so that we will discuss in a program like how to control this speed and all so this is the output that we are going to design so let's see how to design display file for this so here i have created already so i will show you by taking option 17 so nothing we are just using one simple record here for this for designing the loading effect bar so i'm taking option 12 here so this is the normal text that we can write using the code so in this way you can write text and if you want to delete it just put at this location and then hit enter so it will delete after putting d now below to that this is also my text now we will see how we have designed this bar so to design the bar what i'm doing i'm just putting quote and just writing asterisks in this way hitting enter then on next to next line i will draw one more line okay and similarly i will close it here so i will just put here so in this way you can create this kind of box using asterisk or whatever the symbol you want to use now inside that this is my output field there are two output fields. one is this and one is this so how to design this so to design the output field i'm using plus and after plus you can write o for output and you can pass here the length so let's say i want to create it for five length so i will write five Similarly, if I want to create another output field, which is bigger than this, so I will put O as 10. Okay, so in this way, I have designed this. And if you want to assign some color, so just put your cursor uh, for one place left. This is the placeholder location and put asterisk, then select the color and select the uh num like whatever the color you want to select i'm selecting it as a red so taking one in the same way i have designed this box also so right now we are not going to use this small progress bar so i'm deleting it this is only for the tutorial purpose so i'm deleting it so we have designed the progress bar now in this output field we have assigned some name to this output field so let's see on the placeholder location put question mark so this field name is p bar and this field name is percentage okay rest all are the text and this is also a text with blue color so screen designing is complete now we will see the another thing which is indicator like what all indicator we have passed here so here in option field take option eight now in indicator take option y and here you can pass the cf03 as a function key for exit okay 
so this is the basic thing and if you are not aware of basic like how to design the screen that there is one session that you can refer or you can directly take option one here for adding the record then select type as a record and give any name which you want to give it okay and then you can design the screen that we just discussed now fine so these are the only thing that we need to include here in display file now we will see the main logic how we are writing the logic for progress for implementing the progress bar so this is the program that we are using and as usual we are writing the code in fully free format so firstly i am specifying control option which is default activation group as star no why because in this program we are going to use one procedure or api which is you sleep so you sleep is a procedure which we can utilize for making a delay effect in our program so to uh, if you want to run your program with some delay in that case you you have to use this you sleep function or procedure now on line number 13 i'm using dcl app for declaring my display file which is progress d with the help of keyword work stn below to that I'm, I have declared two variables symbol and index symbol is of length 100 type character and index is integer 3 now on line number 22 I am de uh, declaring the procedure that we are going to use so my procedure name is usleep it is it will return the value of t integer 10 and it is referring the external procedure which is usleep so this is a system defined procedure and inside that we are taking one argument as a unsigned 10 digit value okay so you have to keep this procedure as it is because this is the already defined uh, system defined procedure or api you can say that we are going to use here and th the only purpose of using this is like we, if you want to execute your process with some delay in that case we have to use this function clear and if you are not aware how to use procedure what is procedure then you can refer the previous session there is uh, some session with uh, re related to ile and there you will learn about the procedures but for here we will only focus on the progress bar now on line number 28 i am running one loop do while loop till the in03 is off and after that we are just doing the exfmt on record means screen we are displaying the screen line number 30 we are clearing the symbol uh, variable why because for on the very first time it should be empty then we will it, uh, put some value in this and show it as a loading effect below on line number 31 i am running one for loop which will start from index 1 and it will go till the value become 100 so it will run from 1 to 100 now on line number 32 what we are doing in percentage video uh, field we are adding the index as a character so why i'm converting it as a character because percentages is a character field so one by one it will be converted to character and then we are appending it to percentage variable by adding percentage to it so suppose for the first time what it will do it will add one percent then two percent three percent four percent till hundred percent okay so this is the second field that we have for showing the percentage now we will see the loading effect uh, first part so for this we are using the symbol variable so here what we are doing we are just trimming the symbol variable and adding this pipe symbol to it if you want to use any other symbol you can do this uh, you you can also do that because it is up to you and for now we are just using the pipe symbol because it looks like a loading effect so what we are doing we are just trimming that symbol every on each and every iteration and we are appending the pipe symbol to it so suppose for the first index it will append one symbol and it will add it to the p bar p bar is my output field on the display screen and then we are writing the record each and every time we will write the record so that it looks like a progress bar is progressing and we want to keep this process slow so that's why we are using this uh, procedure or api you sleep and i'm passing the argument as a 40000 so this value you can change as per your requirement if you want to iterate your process progress bar quickly then you can change the value otherwise you can keep it 
maximum as per your requirement and in between if user press f3 so we are turning we are leaving the loop so that if in between user press f3 then it will directly came out of this progress bar then doing and if this is the optional field like if you want don't want to include it then it is also fine but this rest all things are mandatory now we are doing and for for ending the for loop and then we are terminating the do loop do while loop and on line number 44 45 i'm setting the star in our request star on so mainly what we are doing here in this main logic we are just showing the screen then we are running one for loop till from 1 to 100 and we are adding one uh, correct index value with uh, by appending the percentage to the percentage variable this is my screen field percentage and for symbol we are uh, adding the pipe symbol one by one and to the progress bar p bar which is screen field and every time we are writing the rec record so that it looks like that we are progressing the screen or progress bar and we are using their external procedure which is use sleep it is a api and it will take the argument for which we, it will delay the process and then we are checking the if condition if user press f3 then just simply leave the loop so this is the only thing that we need to write for implementing the progress bar so let's compile it and call it so once it is compiled we will call it and we will see the output again how the progress bar is working so calling it so it is here this field is not shown because we have declared as a output field so this is the first field you can assume and there we have the second field so if i do hit hit enter so it will fill the progress bar slowly okay and so as per your requirement you can design this screen suppose if you are, you are going to take any input from the user like user id and password so once user id and password is entered then you can show this kind of progress bar and after that you can show your main screen so this is effect is very useful when you are designing some case studies or some application okay so i hope this uh, topic is clear how to design the display file uh, loading effect or progress bar in display file so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching tech